no i agree i agree and that's uh and i know we had talked about before about purpose and in my view your purpose should unfold but you should have an idea of what you can positively do or at least if you want a certain thing that is positive like how to get there right you're saying you know you want to bring life into this world uh but you also want to help others obviously so you're going to do something online right to make sure you do both of those uh i think about that a lot too because you know i'm very aware that we live in a material world like if if i want to just become completely accepting and always living in the present moment and Mm. and just enjoying the beauty of the world and have no connection to the material world or wealth or anything like that. Technically I could give everything up, go become a monk and practice meditation every day. Right. Uh Like if that's my, my clear goal, sometimes I think that's somewhat selfish uh, because you are deciding to take the straight line path to enlightenment and joy without any, uh, uh, malevolence. So in my mind, okay, cool. So how can I bring joy to others and also bring joy into myself? Right. You got to find that balance. That's why it's called balance. Exactly. Uh So, uh, and then also what I realize is, okay, yeah, duh, I am living in a material world. This material world, usually you can do way more for others, the more money you have. Right. Like, I mean, not buying them stuff, but you can get your message out there easier. You can, uh, you know, hire people to help you with your goal. One thing too, money is not evil. I don't believe that money, money is evil. What's evil is what you do with money. It's just a tool, you know? Money is a tool. Yeah. It's, uh, I think what's evil is. The intentions of people. Why, why, where they're using the money. Evil doesn't come from uh an object yeah objects or economies or markets Mm -hmm. you know because if you think that a certain institution was created a certain way those those that institution was created by people right Mm -hmm. so there were intentions on that creation exactly so if that intuit intuition intuition institution Uh is looking like it's negative and evil okay well if it was created by people, it can be changed by people. You know, there are no emotions from an inanimate object right, 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 <laughs> or, an right, in, right. or an ideal or an in, uh, uh, institution. So uh, I, yeah, I very firmly b- believe in that. But uh, you need to understand too that um, you are not just creating, you're co-creating. Yeah. So not, it's, it's not a straight path, you know, like it's not because this is what you want, this is what's going to happen, but at least have that, okay, I'm going to Houston, so I have to, I have to run by Katie, I have to run by, you know, um, Cypher or wherever, you mm. would know your path, but, but I want people to know too that you are co-creating with the universe and with God. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to think like, oh, she said that there is a destination and it's just going to be straight there. It's not going to be a a, a straight path, but because there are still lessons to learn, but at least you know what to avoid. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to this place. So why would I take that exit? Mm -hmm. You know, so that you save time because time is the only thing that we cannot beat. Time is equal for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. A hundred percent. Now we can, we can go down the rabbit hole of the fact that time is a man-made conscript <laughs> and uh, concept. And, uh, and it's just a measurement of on the of bigger the, picture, yeah. but still in the world time is time. Your, your body will still grow. Yeah. Yeah. It will still, um, you only have so many moments until your, your material being degrades. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, yeah. so, uh, I know I completely agree with that, uh, that, people have to realize that there's a greater picture. Now, you know, everyone has a different belief, you know, from someone who is a devout uh, Catholic or Muslim to an absolute atheist. Right. Uh, Everyone has to realize that there is something greater than them. Even the atheist has to accept that there are other people in the world. So they may want to get to their destination but they're going to meet and talk to and affect a lot of people along the way. And it may not go the way that they want it to go. So they have to accept that whatever it is, they have to do it with acceptance 
lack of resistance and curiosity uh, and, and self-love, right? And you have to be careful too with who you allow in your life. This is what one of the things that I realized too with my awakening um, on my journey, like self-love journey, is that I have to be very careful with who I allow into my life. Why? Not because I'm judging other people, but because the people that I allow into my life influences me. So they could either help me grow or hold me back. Mm, yeah, no, I agree. Because you're, you're, it's all energies, right? It's all, uh, you have, if you have, I mean, there's a reason why people say, you know, uh, you know, I hate, I hate ha being around your vibe or whatever, right? Like it's a, that's bad a vibe. bad, uh -huh. bad vibes, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so get like, out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's a thing because, you know, we, we as individuals radiate uh you know how we feel if i mean if you don't believe in in there being energy that's fine but look if you're around sitting next to someone who's an ang uh, angry or sad tell me you can't innately feel that right like you you can your brain is picking up on that like the the cues the mannerisms and so on and so forth so if your brain is picking up on a bunch of people around you having negative emotion, your brain subconsciously is thinking, oh shit, I should be negative too. That only makes sense for the current environment. So, right. Mm -hmm. If you put yourself in an environment with people that are more positive, it's only going to uplift you. However, it opens doors to you. What's that? It opens doors. Yeah. Uh -huh. However, if you get to a point and this is the, this is the, I feel like I'm hijacking. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, you, if you get to a certain point where you can be so mentally stable and so in depth in your own self love and love for others, you can go into a room of absolute negativity and brush that off and make change. So, yeah, that's good that you actually, that's good that you said that. Um, I agree with you. That's why I really didn't have the opportunity to like share my experience and my stories before because I have not reached that level yet. Mm -hmm. But now I am comfortable in sharing it because now the mirror, it's, I'm not mirroring anyone back anymore. I, I am being mirrored. Mm -hmm. I'm the one influencing the room. I'm right. not being influenced anymore. Yeah. Once you reach that level of self-love and keep on working towards self-mastery mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yeah. you will know it yourself you'll yeah. be confident you'll feel it that okay i can um it, it's like this morning um someone was was mad um they're angry so instead of i instead of it letting instead of me letting it letting what ha what's happening around me affect me i actually laughed and i was like okay i just need to recharge my 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 batteries, yeah, you know, yeah. and then um and then I just let it I just let the emotions go or whatever that is. Because now I'm confident that I can be, you know, that it's not it's not personal. I don't yeah. have to take that personally. 